My name is Ariel Wright. I am the CTO and CEO of Stratiax. Uh, I'm a junior at Harvard University studying computer engineering with a citation in business Mandarin Chinese. And this is the app and the startup that I, me and my friends created a few months ago. Um, <clears throat> all right, I guess let's get started. To sort of query the room a bit, uh, how many of you guys have stock and or trade? Acorn, Stash, Robinhood, TD Ameritrade, Schwab, any Schwab people in here? Right. Um, so essentially my app allows you to be able to automate your trading strategies based on real world events in real time. So um, maybe up. Anyone else see this happen a few days ago? Right. So um, essentially Trump and a bit of the and a bit of the trade war dynamic was ended up ended up impacting the market, dropping by 138 bips. Normally, what people at giant firms like Goldman Sachs or um, maybe Bank of America or any other type of place or quant firm, normally they are able to protect themselves from things like this by having bots and code in the background running to protect them. So I used to code for one of those banks, and I decided to, instead of working during the summer, create an app that allows everyday traders to be able to also have the same strategies. <laughs> Um, so how it works, it's events-based trading, where essentially we take things such as when Boeing and the news of plane crash and Boeing happened in, uh, over the course of three weeks or months or whatever, something's watching in the background and waiting for things like that to happen. And then it, it basically trades it off for you. And you can create strategy using natural language, so no actual coding required. Um, you can then test it out on your own phone based on your own account using uh, whatever account that you have currently, Robinhood, TD Ameritrade, Coinbase if you like crypto, and then you can automate it. So whenever something happens in the market, you will be protected. Um, so from there, if you're not as familiar with how to create your own strategies, we have a marketplace of strategies where you can lease strategies from others to be able to get a footing or a be able to protect your certain types of stocks and shares in the market with strategies that other people have tested and vetted. So uh, this is like, I guess, a little bit more about the strategies. And in terms of the competitive landscape, I wasn't sure how casual or not this would be, but we are the only, only one mainly in the space right now that offers full customization using natural language processing, as well as uh, ability of basic features for day-to-day -day investors. And our lovely price is 99 cents per strategy per month. Um, How do I click? Oh, no. That's unfortunate. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, that's fair. But my name is Ariel Wright, and uh, this is... I want to go to the next slide, please. Yep. So my name is Ariel Wright. This has been Stratiax. Thank you. Does anyone have any questions or comments or concerns? I'm ready. Awesome. Uh, thank you. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Uh, <laughs> Right, so in general, most people that tend to be sort of passive investors tend to not normally fall into the category that we would want to force them to do anything, right? So our target market tends to be people that, if we were to push them, could you go up two, sli two slides? I was trying to, we can do a couple, one more slide. Oh, yeah, that slide, yeah. Up, up one more. Yep, okay, if I had the clicker, I'm sorry. Yeah, so in general, if you don't want to participate in the market as a, as a more so active investor, you can go with more so passive strategies from our strategy marketplace. So obviously there are strategies that are more active, so the kind that would base off of triggers from like Boeing, but there are more passive ones that also give returns as well. So you can park your money there if you'd like to. Yes. Yeah, I think you were the only one that I saw, so. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, so in general, there are other tools that are more so in the space for that already. Um, there are some pretty decent GUI'd out things in general for others that do things of that nature, but there's no natural language material uh, within space trading. But obviously being able to push out one of those from like an API going forward with development 
is very straightforward because it already exists, right? Versus this, we've been building for four months because it's what I've been building in my dorm, right? It's from scratch. <laughs> Thank you. Cool. Thank you.